was happening. Freaking man, when we grew up, man, there was this movie. Uh, it was called Menace to Society. And this is basically like a, a cult classic for anybody who grew up in like the freaking nineties. But there's a character on there. I mean, this is a bad example, but I'm gonna flip it because I can kind of see myself in this character. But on uh, on the reverse side of the polarity, okay. Anyway, this guy's his name was freaking and no, and and there's times I've been kind of this guy too in a way. His name was O Dog, and or it was an old dog, but or it was an O Dog. I'm not sure, but anyway, it was this dude MC8, this rapper guy. He was actually in the movie, and in the movie, even I watched the director's cut, and they said they basically were trying to make a black ish um the good fellas and so the way like they they come in and they explain the characters uh, they give the backdrop story but o dog was like it said that he he was an og or a double og i think maybe they even said because that's why his name was o dog because he's old and he's been doing this shit so long that he actually kind of gets off on watching new people kind of uh pop their cherry so to speak with the uh, thug life and when it comes to like look the, I, I used to watch jesse ventura uh conspiracy theory and he would say i know things that'll blow your mind and i used to kind of look live kind of like just like old dog what he was doing he was reliving himself vicariously through these other other people and it's kind of like the misery look when you got other people doing what you're doing with you you don't feel so like it, it kind of if it's a bad thing it makes it feel like it's not so bad i guess because look they're doing it too but it's like that's the reason like look uh i love popping someone's narc cherry you know what i'm saying where they never even heard the term narcissistic abuse and they'll be like, yeah, man, I just had a bad breakup. And then it's like, I can sit there and describe to them. I could just freestyle it. And they're like, how'd you know like that happened to me? And it's like, in a way, I get that kind of, I get to relive my own freaking awakening to this, this stuff, right? I mean, because look, narcissism in the big picture is... Look, it's behind it. Look, it's also responsible for a lot of conspiratorial subjects. And in a way, I enjoy watching. It's not that I'm like a sadist and I'm like, hey, look, hand me the freaking Vaseline and I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. No, it's that I know you're kind of on your step actually to healing, to recovery. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's been times when I was young and I used to, we used to freaking egg each other on to do bad stuff and it's freaking look playing around with the chaos is fun you know what i'm saying but then you know what i'm saying it's not fun when the chaos is played on you like through your narc abuse rate relationship or your exploitation uh, uh oppression from high places you know what i'm saying it's it's actually no it's not cool but when you see one person freaking kind of like, look, when you see that light bulb turn on, it it's, it, look, it's fuel for me to keep going as well. You know what I'm saying? And to see also in real time that it's like magic where you really see people like go, like they light up and, and they get, you know what I'm saying? Like you're really, you see their, their wheels turning. And, and in a way it's like, look, you know what? I know it's kind of weird. It's like, oh, dog living vicariously through others that i mean that's why listen i watch so many narc abuse people so many gang stalker victims ti's and it's like look it's like i'm like mm -hmm. i know what you're talking about mm -hmm. and in a way it helps reiterate what i like some of the things it helps it gives me like some kind of uh, voyeuristic, uh, what's the word, uh, validation, because it's like, mm-hmm, just like when the, when you say something to these people, and you can tell them, like, exactly how it happened, and how it went down, and they're, like, shocked, like, look, like, how do you know, 
It's like because I've been through it. And part of the ultimate part of healing, it's it, look, just to heal yourself is look in itself is is a selfish kind of survival thing, right? But linked up in that, once you start to learn things and the minute you start to help others, it actually helps you further along your own healing. So I mean it's like look, it's it's uh it's a weird thing. But it, you know, uh you know, I could take a break from it, walk away for a little while, but you know, of course, I like to, I want to see, check in and see how, who's doing like how who's doing, you know what I'm saying? And uh and it's like listen, in a way, just like with the, with the BS dude and and all the negative stuff dude it's like ridiculous and it's redundant in a way i believe being ridiculous and redundant is a good way to reprogram ourselves from the brainwashing from the abuse and just the negligence and the ignorance of not understanding any of these things it's a way to to whip yourself up into shape kind of quicker it's just, it's just a mind trick where these things become like mantras to you. And it's like, look, uh, you could see that coming a mile away. And, I, and I'm telling you. And also when your your previous people who used to give you a hard time, they just don't even have an inroad to you anymore. And now they're forced to face their own shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in a way. And it, so it, it, it's it's helpful on, on that side too, where you don't participate in the toxic, where... Uh, you know, you uh, you're you're more, um. You know, you're just more emotionally, intellectually mature. You know what I'm saying? And and uh. Anyway, it, it, and it's kind of like. You know, uh, that's how kind of like uh, if you, if you're rested in development, that's how you can kind of like. Like speed the process back up and get back to where you need to be. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at least for me, for my experiences, for my dabbles in this, it, it's been like, look, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of like, it, it's horrible what I went through to learn about it, but it's awesome to be on the other side of it and uh, actually, uh, you know, uh, it, it's like, yeah, it's actually joyful, like when you see somebody wise up to where they're going to become like narc proof. You know what I'm saying? They're also going to become not, they're going to become critical thinkers. It's like you don't teach people what they need to think. You teach them how to think for themselves. You do that by not imposing yourself overly on them. And you just be an example. Just real talk. Be open and honest as you can without being rude or vulgar. But sometimes you can be kind of satirically rude and vulgar in a in the proper way and it it, it adds an uh, accentuation way uh what is the word man i don't know if that's the fucking right word man but anyway man yeah man so at this point now like in the conspiracy thing i'm like oh dog and and the narc abuse thing i'm like oh dog too and uh, but and i like to see people get down and look and and then uh you know it's it's it gives me joy it, look i'm rejoicing for them you know what i'm saying in a way and it helps me just be like it's a good feeling good vibes passing on positivity good vibes helping one another heal uh you know what i'm saying in in a safe environment you know what i'm saying uh that's that's a big big freaking uh difference you know what i'm saying when you was in it going through it learning <clears throat> you know what i'm saying it wasn't a safe environment so then once you get out of it and you come back to it, and, and look, you see there's a whole bunch of other people that, look, they can add, like, look, their flavor of their abuse is slightly different than yours, but it's similar. But yet, it, you know, look, uh, since you have all this common ground anyway, there's a lot to expound off one another, you know, throw ideas back and forth. And... Uh, and hearing other ways people articulate it. I love to hear people articulate it well. I'm like, well done. Awesome. I wish, I mean, I couldn't have said it better myself. 
you know what I'm saying? And it, that's nice. Let someone else have the freaking spotlight, dude. And, uh, you know, cheer them on, and so to speak. Uh, but anyway, uh, that just, that kind of came to mind. I just wanted to spit that out real quick. And uh, uh, much love. God bless. Safe travels. Take care. Peace. See you next time.